This is for you, Grandfather. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord, that they may rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. Take this opportunity to wish my condolences to the family, to the friends, and to the faithful here, the loss of Mr. Paul Buto. This was a long life, 95 years upon this earth, upon this pilgrimage. There is something that marks this life which is different from the common eye. Yet we may say we find one of the four marks of the church within this life, that of unity. The thread that tied this life together, that led a life of perseverance, that led a life of example for all of us. This thread, we may say, is the thread of dedication. We saw, firstly, his dedication to his family. Eight children, he fostered, he raised in a great traditional Catholic life, tried to give to them the necessities of life. And we have to see here his family, his focus, is the basic unit of society. And so that focus of the eight children led to over 30 grandchildren to 25 great-grandchildren that this man has had in the blessing. Using his talents to be an engineer, be a professor, to be a coordinator. To all of these things given to us, to the world, this is something to reflect upon. A life of dedication to his family, to the world, to the church, ultimately to God. Those who are faithful in little things will be faithful in greater things. Paul Buto was recollected to see always saying the rosary, multiple rosaries a day. He had a great devotion to the seven time privilege, that is, to fast and abstain on every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday of your life. And with this devotion, because there's so much to be given in this sacrifice, is the great promise of Our Lady that the Saturday after you die, you may enter heaven. Well, today happens to be the Saturday after Mr. Paul Buto's death. Let us pray that as he has given his great credence and honor to Our Lady, he may be rewarded for what he has done for her. The greatest of all dedications can be seen in his dedication to the Mass. Every Mass that he was able to attend, he did. The greatest act in the world which we are attending now is what his greatest devotion was. 
the devotion to the traditional Latin Mass, I had the honor to visit him in the hospital to administer the last rites. Oftentimes when you visit a sick person in their bed, they are dying. They are not aware. They are unconscious. They are so in pain that they can't concentrate. But when I was able to visit him, he woke up from his sleep and was aware every moment I was there and wanted to be present amidst the great sacraments of the church. The greatest thing, hopefully, you recollect is this leaving us an example of dedication. This is what he's left us. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. We can say in a paraphrased way, if you love me, you'll be dedicated to me. The day that he died, November 14th of this year, happens to be also the Feast of All Souls in the Benedictine Rite, the passing of Mr. Paul Buto. What greater thing for us to reflect upon not only his death, but our own. Let us try to follow the dedication within his life, starting with our family, going to Our Lady, ultimately ending with God himself. That is the life of a Catholic. That is a life that we should strive to live. And let us thank our Lord Jesus Christ and His Blessed Virgin Mary to give us this example. God is so good that He allows us to have mentors in our life. Today we have been blessed with such a mentor. Let us now, being good children of Him, pray for His soul. Wipe away every tear from their eyes. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more. For the former things have passed away. Thank you.